Wait, what is that sound? What is even going on? What the? Hey, what, what are you doing? I'm testing out your new project. What? It's not ready yet. How is it? Is it? It's really, it looks really, really nice. I is like it, it. Does it play well? Yes, it does. Look at that. Ah, yeah. So you think I should release it to everybody then? Yeah, I think you should definitely show it to everyone. Oh, maybe I will. Maybe I will. Hello everybody and uh, welcome to Organia's Puzzle Box. Um, in this very special video, I would like to finally unveil my space um, creation. Basically, it's a project in Unreal Engine where you can fly a ship uh, through a asteroid field, visit a, um, an, a gas planet, uh, see a black hole in the distance and basically, you know, uh, taking the views of uh, the cosmos that I put together, but overall, this is just uh, this is over. This is just a, 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 com a compilation of all the stuff that I've got available on our station Gumroad or Patreon. So anybody who is a subscriber or who has bought my my projects will be able to do pretty much most of the stuff that you see in here. Uh, right now, it's just the volumetrics that I've still have yet to release, but uh, I'm working on that as well. So let's just not you know let's not delay that let's just um, let's just actually have a look at the pro at the project itself um as you will be able to download this and actually try it for yourself so you, you will be able to literally play this on your own computer uh just follow the link in the description uh, below to download it so um as i'm sipping through this coffee oh god i love my coffee honestly you guys have uh bought me so many coffees so i really appreciate that um but yeah as i'm doing this I'm, I'm just going to show you guys uh what you can do within this project so you've got uh you know an options menu where you can resume quit or go into options and i've set my anti-aliasing to well to medium or low it doesn't matter in here just for uh, i mean anti-aliasing doesn't really play a huge role in this project but it definitely improves the performance if you decrease it but everything else is set to the maximum settings i'm just going to resume as you can see i'm flying through space and we've got the controls of the ship over on the left side and it's velocity, so basically how much speed you're actually gaining in here. And you can see there's uh, there's going to be this sound to added to the engine. So if I now start to rev it up, it, it will. Hopefully you can hear that. Uh, I am trying to keep the sound low enough so that you can hear me. Um, but yeah, as I go, you'll notice that the sound builds up, and then I can actually reach a maximum. This is now the maximum sort of a sound pitch over this. As I fly through these asteroids, as you can see, the asteroids are very, uh, very highly detailed. There's actually quite a few of them, a few different variations of asteroids with different textures. Um, so these are generated via the asteroid blueprint uh, that I've, um, you know, I've got on my R station projects. The, the asteroids also have collisions. So if I, so you know, if I happen to like sort of hit into them right now, uh, you'll notice that I've just bounced off of it. So. There's no sound added with that yet, but uh, basically that's what happens. Um, the skybox, the skybox itself, obviously, is a blueprint. The blueprint where you can load up any skybox that you want, HDRI or cube maps. And then we've got the black hole over there, which is obviously engulfing and, and swallowing everything around it. That's also quite massive. Uh, over below them, you know, around us, we've got these. Uh, as you can see over there, we've got these beautiful nebulas. Uh, I'm still working on that as of now, but uh, it's still in development and I will be releasing it soon on our station Gumroad or Patreon, so stay tuned for that. But uh, then you've got the gas giant in here, but it, you know, there's a lot of work still to be done. Um, but again, you know, you can get this demo and, and fly and check it out yourself, performance wise and everything, just, just to see how it uh, all runs. Uh, now, bear in mind, if you are a, uh, if you are a Patreon, uh, and if you go to the uh, the uh, you know the most utmost tier on Patreon, you can get the the project files for this yourself, and then test it out and play around with it, and just see where you can get 
uh, done with, you know, pretty much a learning experience. Um, I think there's a lot of value into that. There's a lot of things to learn, a lot of things to see how I've set up the ship, how the blueprints are created, how the volumetrics, how the, uh, you know, the, the skybox works. Everything in here uh, is at the, you know, it can, can be something that you can experiment with and try for yourselves um, if you join my Patreon. So let's just keep on exploring and see what else we can we can find or what sort of views we can we can encounter as we dive deeper into space. And that's um, well, that's pretty much the scene I would say. Uh, the demo itself, I would I, I think is quite packed with many different things that you can explore and you know just just pretty much play around with it I, I find it that you know it takes me it takes me literally uh I, I could spend this like like an hour two hours three hours it is just exploring around just bouncing around asteroids so you know it's really really something um and i'm definitely going to be upgrading this and making it you know even more more um advanced going forward uh, so just remember, all of these things are part of my Art Station Gumroad and Patreon projects. You can get them from there if you'd like. If you need any help, consider joining the Discord server. Uh, I always try to provide feedback and help to anybody that seeks it in, in creating space engine space scenes. I'm also covering Space Engine now because I find it to be a remarkable tool to visualize space. And I hope that uh, one day I'll be able to do something similar in Unreal Engine as well. But right now, it's more about learning how to how to deal with these things as they as they are, uh, and just build things piece by piece. Uh, it's very interesting just to see how much is possible by using procedural methods to achieve, uh, you know, things like asteroids, uh, nebulas, planets, and so on. Um, and uh, yeah, um, I would like to express my gratitude to my patrons and to people who have purchased projects on our station and Gumroad. You guys have made possible for me to keep on going and develop and you know develop and put as much time into this as possible. And I plan on keeping up and providing you with more and more content and better content. So I hope to see you guys in the uh, next video. Please give me a like, uh, subscribe, a comment if you feel like I've, uh, you know, it's something worth for you here. If not, then, you know, just I'm really glad that you dropped by to watch my video. So, yeah, thank you to the patrons. Thank you to the supporters on the uh, platform, on the other platforms and also on Discord. I'll see you guys in the next one.